Our big story this morning. All I want is justice. I want justice. The family of a teen shot and killed by a state police trooper in West Haven are demanding action. A state attorney is now investigating, but the family says that's not good enough. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz is live at the state's attorney's office in New Haven. So, Carolina, what's the family asking for? Well, first, they want Trooper Brian North off the job. We know that he's on desk duty right now, pending the outcome of this investigation. And second, the family is meeting with the state's attorney here in New Haven today to tell them to get off the case. They want the U.S. attorney to take over. Mubarak Solomain's family says police went too far. Others say Trooper Brian North was justified. Justice for me. Protesters marched in below freezing temperatures from New Haven's City Hall to the city's police department yesterday to bring attention to this case. We don't condone the issue of uh, carjacking and whatever allegations they have leveled against him. We, as a community, as citizens, a law abiding citizens, we want justice to be done. Last Wednesday, police responded to a reported carjacking. Body and dash cam footage shows police chasing the driver from Norwalk to West Haven, where troopers surrounded the car. In body camera video, Solomain appears to not obey commands to exit the car. A trooper deploys a taser. Solomain appears to reach for his waistband. Then trooper Brian North fires into the car. We know that the family says they are going to continue protesting until Trooper Brian North is off the job, and they also see more changes done within Connecticut State Police policies. For now, reporting in New Haven, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.